Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. What is the difference between 3D and digital mammography? The main difference between tomosynthesis or 3D mammography and digital mammography or or 2D mammography is that the 3D mammography or tomosynthesis allows us to essentially scroll through the images versus just looking at one static image and it allows us to unpeel layers of dense tissue off of each other in order to unmask masses that we might not have otherwise seen due to dense breast tissue. How do you decide which technology is appropriate to use? Right now we are using tomosynthesis whenever possible as multiple studies have shown. It decreases the callback rate from screening, especially in women less than 50 or in those with dense breasts. And as well, it, show, it increases the sensitivity and specificity of mammography for detecting invasive cancers. So we're trying to use digital breast tomosynthesis as much as possible. That being said, there's um, only, there's a limited number of machines and a lot of patients, so we are making the priority patients those with dense breasts, which are heterogeneously or extremely dense breasts, i.e. more than 50% breast tissue, um, because in those women it's been shown to be most beneficial, but it is beneficial in all women. Do you see 3D replacing digital mammography in the future? Digital 3D and 2D mammography, so tomosynthesis and digital mammography, actually work together. There are things that digital mammography can't do that tomosynthesis can do, but there's also things that the digital mammography or plain 2D mammography can do that the 3D mammography can't do. So for example, the 3D mammography is excellent for detecting invasive cancers. Um, because it unmasks the cancers and, and takes away the layers of dense breast tissue. However, the 2D mammography is still very useful for detecting in situ cancer or DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, because that presents as calcifications which are more difficult to evaluate on the 3D image and easier to evaluate on the 2D image. What we're working towards is to be able to synthesize the 2D image from the 3D image in something called synthesized mammography. And the goal with that is to take the 3D mammogram on everybody and then synthesize the 2D mammogram to decrease radiation dose. Is 3D mammography readily available? We offer it at UMass Memorial and we offer it at the university campus as well as at the Memorial campus. It's important that when you pick a place to go for your um, tomosynthesis that you make sure it's being read by a radiologist who has, a who has done a fellowship in breast imaging and is certified in tomosynthesis. Who should get an annual mammogram? I think that it's really important for everyone being Breast Cancer Awareness Month to um, get their annual mam mammogram if they're 40 years or older. And especially if you're in that 40 to 50 year old age bracket, I think it's really important to go to a site that offers tomosynthesis because it's been shown to be very beneficial in that age group of 40 to 50 years old. As well, if you know you have uh, dense breasts, it would also be beneficial for you to go to a um, site that offers tomosynthesis. And if you have a family history of breast cancer, tomosynthesis is also a great tool to be used to increase the sensitivity and specificity of your screening since you're already at high risk. Does insurance cover 3D? Tomosynthesis is not fully covered by all insurances, except most institutions doing tomosynthesis um, work it out so patients do not have to pay for the tomosynthesis. So most patients are able to get tomosynthesis at no charge.